Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to perform a simple linear elastic buckling analysis of a cylindrical column. Again, it's a request from a subscriber, so I'm just going to make a quick video on that. So, what you see on the screen right now is this is the buckling. As you see, you will apply a pressure and then your column will buckle. Well, this animation is more of a rectangular thing, cross section, but the request was for cylindrical solid cylindrical object so that's what you see on the right hand side here and that's what we're gonna do and it, this will be the first mode of buckling in this case so we're gonna do that so i'm going to show you how to apply boundary conditions how to apply pressure and how to perform the buckling analysis in a very simplified manner so see you on the other side okay let's start, get started let's first start making the cylinder in 3d and in this case, I'm going to go with a 3D part. I will call it uh, column. Okay. And I will keep it 3D. It will be a deformable body. And I'm going to use solid extrusion. So I'm going to make a circle and then I will extrude in the out of plane direction. So let's make a circle now. Select the circle option. And I'm going to give it from 0, 0 until 2, 0. Or let's say, uh, make it 1, 0. <clears throat> so, the diameter is 2. In this case. And now when it asks, when we press done, it will ask for the extrusion depth. So, let's give it 20. Uh, but it's a bit shorter as you see so it might be useful to make it longer so it's easier to buckle so let me change the length of this column now i will just select the solid, uh, solid extrude option double click on it and then i will give a new depth let's give it 40 or something again all the dimensions are arbitrary just to show you the whole process of how to do the buckling analysis of a column especially when the column is a solid cylindrical shape thing now well, let's define the material property so we go to the property module create material we can name the material or we can keep as it is define the elastic properties you can also define plastic if it's there if you want to see some plastic buckle or collapse as well but in this case we keep everything elastic and we're going to use the properties of steel which is the Young's modulus, which is around 210 gigapascals and 0.33 is the Poisson's ratio. Now I will define the solid section because we need to associate this, these material properties with the column. So I have created a section which is associated with material 1 and now I will press OK. And now I will assign the section to the part so that Abacus knows what this column is made up of which in this case is approximately elastic steel, linear elastic steel, I would say. Okay, the color has changed, so you can see now the properties are defined correctly. And the next thing would be to go to assembly and instance the part. So that's what I have done here. We only have one part, as you see in this window, so I will just select that and press OK. Now we go to the step module and we will define the buckling step. In this case, when you press the step and we press the create step button, then what we see here is different options. Now default is static general, but we don't need that. We're going to go with the linear perturbation step and then we will select the buckle in this case. Again, I'm working on a net remote network, so resolution might be a bit blurry but i hope it makes sense now for the step definition for buckle we will select service space and then we will only ask for one eigenvalue we will keep everything else as default so, so now as you can see our step is defined so next thing would be to go and define the loading in this case we're gonna fix one end of the column and apply a pressure load on the other side and we'll keep all the other lateral deformations constant so let's apply a pressure load on this on the end which is facing us 
right now so i will select the pressure from the loading press continue and we'll select the surface which is basically this one and now i'll press done and in this case i will give let's say a value of 10 megapascals or something like that okay press okay now and now i go to the other side and i will try to fix the whole the other end fully so let's select the create boundary condition button and now i can select the displacement in initial step and select the displacements and now i will define the displacements here once i have done that i have fixed all the three dimensions one two and three which are x y and z respectively now i will go to the other side since other side has only a pressure it can still move in the literal dimensions or directions like x and y in this case I'm going to fix those two degrees of freedom on this surface so that it only can come be compressed and then buckle later on so again displacements initial can initial step remember because we are doing a linear perturbation step so we can't define boundary condition during the step and now i'll fix u1 and u2 which are x and y displacements well y displace while well, z direction is we already have pressure there so we don't need to fix it okay so that's pretty much it from the loading side i believe and we go as you see i have double checking the load now so as you see pressure is defined in the same phase as where i have fixed the literal dimensions now i go to the mesh and i will define a global seed again if you have a complicated geometry you may look at other videos on my channel which discusses about meshing different types of objects using partition and other strategies so again i'm going with i think default should be okay just to show you the run not gonna go for a looking for accuracy i'd want to do any mesh sensitivity analysis here i think it's a decent mesh with over 7500 elements so i'm gonna go with that and now i go to the job module i will create a new job and now i will run it let's make the name of the job as cylinder buckle let's call it something like this any random name press continue and we have a job we have a new window and we press continue there as well without changing anything and it should be fine in this case and here we have the job as you see here and now we can just submit and let it run it should not take too long because it's just one eigenvalue we are after we can monitor as well if you want so you press the monitor button to see what's happening in the job if there are any warnings or error messages so it has been submitted as you see here and now we're gonna start it and input file processing is okay so all the parameters are correctly defined we don't have any warning now the analysis has started and it should finish in in no time so let's do it let's see what is happening there now okay so it's completed and let's see how it looks like in the result or visualization module so let's press the result button this will take us directly to visualization module and if you press the contour plots you can see buckling in the analysis and also if you look at the bottom once this advert is gone so you will see that the first buckling mode has load which is the critical load of buckling which is around 63.221 in this case so i hope it's it makes sense now and see you in some other video thank you and bye for now